Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9, No Thrills. So, today's episode we are going to get on with some Nature's Aura. So, I don't actually remember how many of these I'm going to need, but I think this should do for now. Because uh, we actually do need to craft some of these into the gold powder, because you put it around the thingy. But yeah, there we go. There is... A good amount. Oh, I can't just leave the, the bare tree, can I? That'd be very rude of me. There we go. So, nature's aura today because that's all we need for the oblivion shard. And then that's another one ticked off the list. I'm going to try and make 19 oblivion shards if I can. Just like I've been trying to make 19 of everything. Um, I do realise the irony of that. I could just make 18 of everything, right? Because then I can make the... <laughs> The, the starry bee straight away and get a pollinating but um yeah i always try and do at least one because of infinite power anyway we're gonna start off uh we need a little bit of space for this I've done that one there um oh we need a little space over here for the majolnir as well so i think maybe we do this bit this bit looks good use this area now again modular routers is probably a really good idea for this modular routers and i'm just going to get a ton of them because yeah uh i forget how we're supposed to do this but i'm just going to wing it hopefully we get it right so i think it's one two three uh, maybe it's up one, two Two, three, one, two, three. And then these ones as well, right? Anyway, one, two, three, four, five. These, by the way, are going to be the ones that place all of the gold powder. So you can get it to place upwards. Placer. Oh, hello. And how many was that? That was... 12, okay, 16, 16 apparently. Okay, then they're gonna. I want them all to come in at the same time because then I can just set them all to do the thing. Place the modules and then you can just do up. And then we just need to stick them in. Oh, I knew that would happen. Uh, you know what? If we set it up like this. There you go. Uh, what this means is if I put that in there, it will actually place it on top of itself. And I forget how many, we need 19, no, we need double, 38. So we need to put 38 in here. Or 37 because this one's already got it. Okie dokie, there we go. And then 38 in here and so on and so on. So what you can do is if you open up the uh, Nature's Aura's book, you can make this relatively easily if you go to all I did was I went to the index page because it's better than like, searching through all of this you just go to the index and then I think ah there it is ritual of the forest and then you can do the visualize thing so this thing's awesome and you, you click it on there and you can see it's already mostly done because of this I made a bunch of these wooden stands well I made eight because I know you need eight and you just use the gold leaves for those. And one and two, three, six, seven, eight. And then we just need a sapling in the middle. But we're not going to put the sapling in the middle until we've put the things around the edge. Now, for the eye, we need a spider's eye, two gold leaves. So again, we need 38 times two uh, and some gold. So we need 38 of these, because we need 38 altogether of these eyes, right? From what I remember. There we go. And we I don't know if you can use hoppers. The reason, by the way, I'm not... It's funny, I should be using a modular router, I suppose, because I use that for everything. But you can use a hopper if you want to. So the reason, that was it, the reason why I haven't put a sapling in here yet is because otherwise it will grow and we don't want it to grow yet. So I am probably going to get a couple of modular routers right here. 
Let's put them here like that. That'll be easy enough. And then we need a distributor. Not worth using a distributor just for two, but in fact, I don't think it matters, but we're going to do like this. I'm actually going to set it up just like uh, just like it shows in the recipe, right? And then the last one is spider eye. So if we don't have many spider eyes, uh, never mind, we've got loads. I was going to say, if we don't have any, we can always go to our witch thing that we had last episode that's making a sugar and just swap it over to spider's eyes for a bit. So this one here is going to be four golden leaves. Now, we need more. We need more golden leaves. But luckily, we, we did big trees, didn't we? So I might leave one of these trees. So we'll have to separate them like right here. Look how quick this thing was. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it as well. You chop the whole tree down as well. Flipping egg. Right. So that is a lot that we just got. We can get rid of most of these. And I just want to make one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Just want to fill this with this many. And that's going to send over to there. Lovely. And then the last thing is we need a send, just a regular sender module. We're going to send to PR. And actually, we do need a uh, a placer module for the sapling. And we need the thing that grows. Oh, you know what? We don't even need to do that. Let, let's just grow them ourselves. So saplings. There's a few things you're like, uh, I'm like, oh, you know what? I should just do these manually because we don't have to do them again once we've done them. There we go. Right. Plant that one. And completed. Lovely. Grow it up. It's going to use all of these bits. And it will just chuck the eye on the floor. So you've got to watch out for that. And it takes its time, doesn't it? There we go. And we got ourselves an environmental eye. And we just do it again and again and again until we've um until we've got all of these. Although to be fair, this, these are gonna fill up our inventory. So I might start making these as we go. Right, there we go. That is all of, oh, I made all the world's eyes as I was going. So we've done all of that now. So we've got all of those. It says that we don't have the eternal stellars, but we do. Eternal stellars. Oh my goodness, we got like 56 already. It's insane. So we got 14. So we just need a few more of the uh, Eternal Stellars. That's amazing. I bet by the end of the episode, we're going to have all of the Oblivion Shards that we need. Easy. So we can actually just... Uh, oh, I didn't do this from last episode. Let's just grab all of those. Uh, so... We haven't got the dark room block. Okay, we'll do that as well at some point. How do you get the corrupt dust? All right, fine, we'll do it now. We'll do it now so we can get the flipping thing unlocked. Oh, why'd you do this? All right, um, let's get a couple of stacks of these and we'll, uh, we'll pop, pop over to our quickie furnace. Lob those in there and wait what ah oh, blaze powder i'm just going to do it like this because we got a load of blaze blaze rods by the looks of it so why the heck not and yeah there we go stack of it and we got loads of runes as well runes were actually kind of a pain on the multiplayer server because uh wow you, you i think you can only find them in the overworld so that actually might not be enough for the, uh, the dark rooms. It's not. Oh dear. Because we do need this, by the way. The ATM star. So. And there we go. There's all of the, uh, the quests. But that is fine. We can make some more dark rooms. There we go. This should be enough. 
definitely enough. Lovely. Okay, let's, let's accept all of our rewards right here. Oh, I just remembered something. I'm glad that I put the um, Blessed or the Modium helmet in our backpack rather than our system because underneath here we've got a trash can which is trashing all of the all the modium stuff so i'm going to quickly take that off just in case it's because we kept getting loads of it from um the uh pig liches if i remember correctly kept getting loads of them anyway it's a good amount of rewards right there we might actually set something up to show off all of our like quest items that we got at some point but yeah very close very close to these now i i still need to do master of patrick love it and um master of space i think i'm gonna save the uh cataclysm stuff till the end because the only thing from this i really need is the void forge uh which is basically a bunch of stuff from the cataclysm mod isn't it so We'll do that eventually. I think you can swab the uh, the main the main dudes that you get it from. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, I update uh, upgraded my uh, my nether well my backpack. It was gold before, and now it's netherite. And the only reason I did this is so I could get a void upgrade, <laughs> so I can void off all of the uh, uh, all of what they called. There you go, all of the Easter eggs. Also, a load of people told me that I should reforge my backpack, so I did. It's got nothing amazing. It's got luck. It's got 1.5 luck, which is not bad, is it? Thinking about it. And it's got some mana and stuff. It's pretty good. And just like that, <laughs> I avoided all of the flipping Easter eggs. I also uh, did a shift Q, uh, a shift, no, control shift Q, and it just like chucked all of the Easter eggs out onto the floor. Picked them up, voiding them off. It's pretty good. I did forget that I've got this perfect Splendor gem in here. And the perfect Brawler gem as well. So uh, I'm going to quickly go put that on some armor. Whilst we're in between jobs, if you know what I mean. So... What does this one do again? Uh, fits in core armor. So that's definitely going to go on this. You get a bunch of luck out of that. Plus six luck. Four. What counts as core armor? Is it these two? I'm guessing it is. I might be able to put it on my backpack as well. I don't know what really counts or what this counts as, if I'm honest. Someone did say you could also get it on your jetpack, so we should probably get our jetpack back out and just we could wear it as well. Uh, oh, and this one, again, is on core armor and it gives you plus 10 max health. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Is uh, the plus 10 max health. Let's do that one. And before we put it on, we've got green right now. And now we've got... Is that teal? Light blue? Whatever you want to call it. I actually quite like that colour. It's a nice colour. So, we're going to start off with some easy villagers. At easy. There we go. Look at all of the flipping Kevins that I've got in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, none of the, Kevin's the only one that actually had anything for us to, to buy, which was kind of annoying. But we just put down the trader right there and put that dude in. At pneumatic craft. I should have a, yeah, there we go, charging station. So this is how you make it. You have to make some of this like reinforced stone, which comes from compressed iron. You can make compressed iron relatively easily. If you just get some TNT, and you set it off next to some iron that's just dropped on the floor. You get compressed iron. You don't get... Ex it's not one for one when you do that. Because obviously you compress a load of iron together. But you use this and it turns the villager into the mechanic. Wait for it. And it's done. <laughs> Terry Terry, you are awesome. We, we love Terry Terry. Anyway. Um, I need to level this dude up. That's all I really need to do. Level him all the way up. And when he gets to level 5, he might sell us the uh, micro-missiles. So that's pretty good. Also, I've got an air compressor. And I think I got that from a village. I can't think where else I got it from. So it must be a village. 
Can you get a compressed? Oh, you can. I was gonna say, can you get a B? You can get a B. I'm not sure if I want the B. If I'm honest. Uh, okay, B spawn egg. Compressed B. Mm, don't think I want that. I'll probably do the um. Let's do the seed. We've done a load of bees recently, so let's let's get the seed for this. I'm guessing. Is it going to be blocks? Oh, it's not blocks. That's weird. It should, I I reckon it should be blocks, just to annoy people. Anyway, we can do that. Ah, before we do, I forget if this guy gives us any. I think he does. He gives us some um, some compressed blocks. So let's let's grab a couple of emeralds, and uh, we'll just buy a load of stuff like that. Let's get a bunch of transistors. There we go. Basically, we want to level him all the way up if we can to level five because in when he's a master, that's the only time. Oh, also, uh, if we go here, you can get a, a chance to get in the finished PCB, which is amazing. We love the. Finish PCB. It's a right pain to craft, so let's get a bunch of. I don't know, let's get a bunch more of these and let's get a couple of air canisters as well. Why not? And this dude has. Oh, he's got the PCBs. Lovely. I just don't have enough. Uh, you can hold. Well, if you press Shift and uh, and Space, you can basically refill this. So you hit Space and it refills it up there like that. So that's how I was doing it there. I was like pressing space whilst clicking. So this dude's really good. This dude, he's a really good dude to have, but he's not the dude. He's not the Kevin when it comes to this. Ah, there you go. See, Get some compressed iron this way. So let's not do it with seeds because we could do it like this. Ah, oh, I was going to say, can we uh, do it all the way? But no. Oh, I don't like doing the, the ammo stuff because I never make the guns. Okay, turns out this, this guy here was the Kevin. Oh, you can only make three at a time. Okay. Oh, no, you can't. Because we we've got the uh we've got the thing. So using the rough emerald shard, which you get from uh putting an emerald in the stone cutter. If you right click it on the on the dude here, he uh resets all of his uh his trades. And I just bought that off them, and then we right click again, and then we go back down, and there you go, Let's reset the trade. So we can do that, and I think only goes up to sixteen. Ah, get that in. Now we've got twenty one, so we don't actually need this dude anymore, if I'm honest. That's all we needed from New Matter Craft. Um, fair enough. What do we do with him now, though? Uh, we can pick him up, I suppose. Just go in the system for now. Feel a bit bad for the dude, if I'm honest. But there you go. We got all of the uh, micro missiles that we needed, and we got some PCBs as well. If we need those, we probably do later on need those. So let's keep hold of them. And that is one thing down. <laughs> we don't even need to make the seed out of it. That that was super super quick. So the last things that we need is we need a stable wormhole. We need this dragon steel high carbon stuff, which I might go do now. It, it's relatively easy to do. Uh, do we pulverize? Oh, we can crush it. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, relatively easy to set this one up. We just need to go through like all of the steps. We need to make all of this twinite and stuff like that. And this stuff as well. How do you make this? Uh, shulkers. You know what? You know what's quite funny is the fact that I think I got a shulker. I did. I got one of these. The data model. And we got it to advanced as well. Did I do that on stream? I can't remember now. But we can set this up. I might set it up instead of one of the ones in here. Because we're, we're kind of done with them now. Right. I think I have got everything I need for this. 19. Never mind. I don't. I need shulker shells. Uh, I can do one. I believe. Yeah, I can. Nice. It might take some time because I'm using... Oh, and I didn't put the upgrade in this yet. Oh, uh, poop. Uh, but I did make a bunch of these upgrades. 
uh, at thermal. I was just sick of like having to try and make these every time, so there you go, super quick now. Doosh, 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 doosh. That's making the shellerite. <laughs> Spent so long last episode making shellerite, and now we making yeah, brilliant. Right, so we just have to wait on this now. I actually forgot where this is being fed from. So I might have to go have a look. Oh, did I do that off camera though? That's the only thing. I cannot remember how I'm feeding these. Because obviously this hasn't got a puller upgrade in there. So I don't know how I'm feeding them. Do you know what I mean? Like that one there just got some. And I have no idea. I must have a, a router somewhere that's doing that. Aha! Found it. I think I found it at least. It's this one here. So whichever one of these has got... I think it's the Twilight Goblin that I swapped out. Hermit Crab. Okay, what does this one give us? Yeah, that is definitely it. So let's get rid of that and put in a Shulker prediction. There it is. That should be filling that one up. Ah, uh, there's all the Shulker predictions gone. And then if we go upstairs, we should have a ton of Shulker predictions coming through over to this one. And we do. We've got nine. There you go. So we just leave that for a while. That will become... Uh, which one is it? This one? Yeah. That will become self-aware over time. Like the rest of these, they're all self-aware. So we get one every single time, pretty much. 0.5% of the time, we, uh, we don't get one, but still. Still pretty good. So, I quickly made, like, a bunch of these, uh, bound book of bindings, whatever you call it. These, uh, these blue ones. Because it looks like that's the ones you need for the wormhole. Which is what we're trying to get now. Stable wormhole. So we need that dude's spectral compulsion. I think that's a dude. Might not be. Uh, anyway. Nope, there he is. Uh, uh, there they are, sorry. So if we do this. Put this one, like, right here. Cool. And the only things we need for this is some candles. Four candles again. And then uh, the yellow and the white. So yellow... No, it's not that, is it? Gold? Why is nothing coming up in my... Uh... Am I out of power? That was super weird. I had to take out one of my, uh, my one of my discs and then put it back in. And that's all I had to do. Oh, we've already got enough, I think, to get the uh, Oblivion Shard. So let's do that real quick. Just knock it out, get out of the way, innit? I think that's enough. Yep, there we go. Got all of the Oblivion shards now. Anyway, where were we? We were downstairs, and I was looking for the gold. Is it golden? I'm not. Uh, I can't remember now. At okay, chalk. There it is. So you don't even need to get the red chalk in this. That's interesting. So I really like making these. I don't know why. <laughs> They're, they're like very satisfying, especially with the ding at the end when you get a ding. Uh, anyway, so if we grab bowl, I accidentally made like an absolute ton of other stone earlier. I dropped in like a load. <laughs> I had loads of andesite. It was all um, like compre compacted, compressed, and I forgot. So I went to like uncompress it, and as I was uncompressing it, I threw it into the thingy. Anyway, we can uh, stick that there. And then we put the four candles, which again, I have no idea where we got these candles from, but they are handles for forks, obviously. There we go. One, two, three, four. And that is done now. We just need to feed it these. And again, module root time. Right, back where we are. Um, I had a bit of a snafu right there. You saw that I didn't have anything in my uh, in my grid, and for some reason it did it again. So I just pulled out the uh, the card and it, no the uh, the discs and then put them back in, and it seemed to fix it for a bit, and then it didn't fix it. So yeah, I had to just leave like one of the discs in, but not the rest. Anyway, it started working again, and I cleared a few of my NBT items that are in here. Right, so I've got loads of stuff. Oh, maybe it's the villagers, because I just put the villagers in there. 
Oh, I've got a load of these, um, how do you say them? Those things, anyway. Uh, right, anyway, we're, we're going to continue on with this. So I'm going to put these in like that. I do need to add an extra couple for this. So 17, 18, 19. And then we put these ones over there. And again, hopefully this is quite quick. Oh, flipping heck, it doesn't seem that quick, does it? Mm, this would be really good with time in the bottle, funny enough, because you can uh, time in the bottle this middle bit, and it does speed everything up. But yeah, I'm just going to have to wait for this for 19 times. Uh, you can't, you also can't like much of the router into this middle one, just so you know. Ah, I missed it just by a second, but there you go. There's our first stable wormhole. Stick another one in there, stick that one in there. We've just got to wait now. Right, here we go, last one. I just spent, what, like 25 minutes doing that? To half an hour? No idea, but anyway, there it is. Last one, stable wormhole. So we got all the stable wormholes now. 19, love it. Right, so that's done. Um, did I make dragon steel? Dragon steel, I only made the one. Make 10? We can make 10, okay. So again, this is something we're gonna have to come back to. Uh, but that leaves just the Majolnir and we have to actually set up a pressure chamber. So we should probably set the pressure chamber up now, I suppose. Right, I think I've got everything I need right here. So 21 pressure chamber walls and I'll, I'll just, you guys can look at it from here. Anyway, I think this is where we're gonna build it. Cause this is where we had the villager earlier, so. And if we do this, again, I think the, the edges, just like in Extreme Reactors, uh, the edges have to be uh, the chamber wall, from what I remember. Anyway, we're going to do one of those, one of those. And if you'll notice, these are directional, so the blue is on this side. So that's why I placed them like that, so there's the orange on the other side. That is an input, that is an output, I believe. I think it's that way around. So we do one of those, one of those, pressure chamber wall goes, or the valve goes there. And then, um, let's put this one here. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. And then I made some security upgrades. These are relatively easy to make. You just need some compressed iron, which we've got loads of. Uh, you can use lapis right here, or you can use uh, these things, upgrade matrixes, but might as well use lapis, right? So security upgrades really good. It means that they will expel all of the like gas or some of the gas if it gets too full. Now we need to put one of each of these things in for it to make us a new, well, to make us a pulsating black hole. Uh, so we get rid of all of those. And I did just remember that I forgot about the Majornir, so we're going to go do that one. Or however the heck you're supposed to say this. I know it's the same name as, is it the armor from Halo? I read the Halo books back in back in the day, and they were really good, to be fair. I need some red string. Oh, I can make that. Okay. Not too much of it, but I can make it. That's good to know. Why would you use this one when you, you, you do it without the pumpkin? That's odd. And it, oh, we can make pixie dust. Let's do that. I forgot that I've set up some of this stuff. So, do, how many of these do we need? I think we might need 19. So, let's do 17 because we've already got two, right? Right, I am going to call it here. I kind of went overboard a little bit and I did like a ridiculous amount in this episode. So, we're going to split it into two, as you do every so often. So, yeah. Um... Thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!